So this is the blended pepper. That's the bell peppers and the onions and ginger, scotch bonnet peppers and tomatoes. Yeah, so I'm just going to let this cook down. I need to get rid of as much moisture as I can. That's the water contact. So to this, I'm going to be adding salt, curry powder, seasoning cubes, um, thyme, white pepper, and lastly, I've got bay leaves. It's going to cover now and allow to cook down 20 to 25 minutes, give or take. So now I need to fry the um, tomato puree. I'm just going to add the oil. I've used quite a lot of oil to be honest, but that's fine. Um, I usually do this so I can decant some of the oil and then I can use for other recipes, so it's fine. I just need enough oil to be able to fry the tomato puree as much as I want to. So I'm just gonna wait until it heats up. That's gonna take quite a bit, so let's see. Now that the oil is hot, I'm just going to gradually add in my onion. Um, I've got Two large onions in here. I'm just going to add in my tomato paste. So I'm just going to let this fry until the tomato paste is a bit dry and it begins to taste sweet. My puree has been frying now for about 15 minutes. And this is the sort of texture I was aiming for and can you see? Can you see how it looks like tiny pebbles? This is what you're aiming for. Just gonna take that off the heat. So this has been boiling out for about 20 minutes and as you can see the quantity has reduced and this is what I was aiming for anyway so yeah, I'm fine with it now. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add the tomato paste. Also add in some of the oil. So I'm just going to combine again thoroughly and I'm going to let it fry for another 15 minutes. I'm just going to taste for a seasoning. Yeah, it's good. So the steel has been frying out for about 15 minutes. And I tell you, this is perfect, perfect stew. I mean, you could use this down for rice if you want. To this, I'm going to be adding the chicken stock or chicken broth. For most caterers, to be honest, um, they use probably about half of the stew and then the rest would just be water or stock. But I like my jollof rice really, really rich. I like it really rich, so I don't mind. I don't mind but like I said if you want you can use half of the stew for the same quantity of rice it's up to you but I don't like it watered down I just like it just this thick so I'm just going to let those cook for about five minutes and that's just for it to combine thoroughly and then I can add in the rice here is my washed rice so that's going in now It is important to use a wooden spoon um, because if you use the stainless steel spoons or the other kind of spoons, they will break the sorry, it will break the rice grains and it's going to make your rice soggy. 
or mushy so it's better to go with wooden spoons just combine really thoroughly So now I'm going to cover it tightly with kitchen foil. So the reason for this, you know, for the um, kitchen foil is um, it helps you to cook faster because the foil is going to trap in enough heat or enough steam and that will help the rice cook a lot faster. So this has been about 20 minutes. add me some more onions if you know me you know that I love onions I love onions to bits so this is not too much for me if you don't like onions then obviously you can tailor it to your preference but I love onions and also at this point I'm going to add in my butter I'm not going to use too much butter on this one I'm not going to use too much butter on this one Normally if I use my normal basmati rice, I, I use quite a lot and that's because the basmati sort of dries up too much but I just need a bit more So I'm just going to cover it up again and then I'm going to turn up the heat. And that needs to that needs to go for another 10 minutes. It will burn, yeah, definitely. That's what we want. We won't need to burn, so it's fine. So my jollof rice has been cooking up for about 20 minutes. I did think it was going to take 10 minutes, but I was wrong. Um, it's taken 20 minutes to properly soften and I am happy with the end result. Um, I would like to seize this opportunity to ask if you would like me to do more videos with audio instructions. Personally, I don't like them because I just feel like they waste so much time. But if it's something that I get requests for, then obviously I wouldn't mind throwing that in once in a while. And that's it. And thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.